Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Flash! Ah! Uh... Flash drive. Just doing my best Freddie Mercury. Eh, who wants to live forever? <clears throat> You probably have flash drives lying around. My dad bought a few flash drives, and much to his chagrin, he discovered that he got the wrong kind of flash drive, and for him, there is such a thing. Uh, he came to me, all distraught. He said, I put this into my computer, and all of a sudden, a pop-up window showed up. Is there spyware on here? I said, what? And I looked at it, and I said, where did you get it? He said, I got it at the store. I said, did you open it on your own? Yeah. I'm like, uh, well, let's plug it in and see. He says, no, 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 don't plug it in. I don't want it to, to mess anything up. I said, it, it, okay, I'm here. If it messes something up, you know, I can probably take care of it. He says, well, are you sure? I said, D just let me try it, Dad. I got to find out what's on here. So I plug it in, and all of a sudden, the U3 application pops up. He's like, see, see, it's, it's something's broken. I said, no, it's designed to be that way. He said, well, I don't want it that way. I said, okay, did you realize that you got a flash drive with the U3? And he puts, he pushes his glasses down and he says, how the hell am I supposed to know that? What, what? And he got mad at that point. He got mad at me. I said, well, Dad, it's not my fault. I didn't put the U3 software on the flash drive. He said, yeah, but I don't want it. I said, oh, it's okay. We can take it off. I said, yeah, but I, I, I don't want it. I said, yes, I, that's why I said we'll take it off, Dad. Yeah, but I might want it in the future. I said, okay, do you want it or not? Well, I don't want it. I just want to put the files on it. Okay, we're going to take off this software, and if you ever want it again, just tell me, okay? And then we can try something and, and get something similar to what was on there. He says, okay, but I, I, I just don't like what that did. I said, all right. So there's just a, a little uh, tip for you, even if you are a geek like me. Uh, when you go out to buy a flash drive, and they're very affordable these days, one thing you want to check before even looking at the price is whether or not it has U3 on it. And you may like that. I mean, there's a benefit of having U3 in the sense that the applications can be portable. It's, you know, usually bundled with Skype that can be run from a flash drive. Uh, of course, you know of portable apps. We've mentioned it before. But if you buy a flash drive that has U3 on it and you don't want it anymore, you can go over to U3.com and run through the uninstaller. And yes, it does work. Back when they first released U3, a lot of us were complaining uh, that they didn't have an uninstaller. And we were annoyed by it because, you know, we wanted this high-capacity flash drive. At that point, I think it was like a gig was high-capacity. Um... And they didn't have a way to remove the software, which was annoying. When you plug it in, the thing would launch. Ah! So, you can uninstall U3 software. Hang on. Hello? Hey, Dad, I was just talking about you. Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, when I'm done. Okay. All right, bye. That's the problem with parents who have broadband. Um, they watch you when you're streaming live. He wants to take a look at this portable apps thing that I was talking about. We've, again, mentioned it before in another video. So, uh, there are other flash drives that don't have U3 software on it, but they do have software that uh, has, uh, you know, different capabilities, and you may not want the software on there. You may want the flash drive to just be that, a flash drive. And some flash drives that are distributed at trade shows may have uh, extra data on there that you can't erase. Uh, you can't reformat. Um, so I found a program. Now, this is only for Mac OS X, but I'm looking for a Windows and Linux equivalent. Something called Hidden Cleaner. If you search for it, you'll be able to find it. It's a piece of freeware. And Hidden Cleaner on Mac OS X will completely clean out everything on a flash drive. So there you go. If you are ever annoyed by U3, you know about the U3 uninstaller now and Hidden Cleaner on Mac OS X. If anybody knows of any other good tools uh, for managing flash drives, formatting flash drives, or even putting Linux on flash drives, feel free to pass those links along. My email address is chris at uh, Let me ask you this too. How many flash drives do you have? Uh, do you hold on to them indefinitely even though you may have like an 8 meg flash drive? 
uh, what's the biggest flash drive you have? What's the biggest flash drive out there today? And then you have to watch this video a year from now, and we'll laugh and say, ha ha ha, eight gigabytes? Ha ha ha. It's going to happen. Trust me. It's going to happen. This here, this one we gave out at our conference. It's got my little logo on it. Uh, this is a two gigger. Hang on. Hello? Oh, hey, Mom. No, I, it's, right, I'm just, no, we won't mess up anything. I'm just, I'll, uh, I'll, okay. No, I, I'm just gonna, right. Okay. Right. I love you, too. <clears throat> Gotta love my parents. Gotta love broadband. Anyway, if you want to swing by and say hi to the rest of us, we've got a whole bunch of geeks hanging out talking software, hardware, internet services. Sometimes we talk about helping people who don't know uh, as much as we might know. But that's what we love doing. We love sharing information with everybody. And uh, you're welcome to join us anytime, day or night, here in the chat room. And I'm streaming this live video out over the internet 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.